What I'm going to do in the next few slides is very quickly go through those in a little bit more detail. I think I've probably covered them to a, to a degree, so we can probably quite quickly go through these slides. Um, if we look at the shared ledger to start with, we've actually, I think I've covered already that this, the, ledger re, the shared ledger records what assets are transferred around the business network. All the participants in the business network have their own copy of this, um, of this uh, distributed ledger. Um, but we have a session of a, a, a concept of permissioning in the blockchain network, so we can actually control who can see what parts of the, of the ledger. And it becomes the shared system of record across the business network, again, with the um, net benefit of increasing the trust within that network. Um, we've mentioned up to now smart contracts. Smart contracts are the way of encoding and sharing the, the, um, the shared business process around the business network. The contracts themselves are... The smart contracts are produced by taking the English contract and con encoding that in, uh, in computer-readable language. Um, and the contracts will also be verified and signed when they're distributed ac across the business network. Um, and the interesting aspect of them, and, and this, this really takes some um, organizations a little while to realize once we start talking to them about it, is that once the smart contracts verified and distributed across the business network, it will execute. When the, term, when the conditions are met, the contract will execute. So there's no concept of reneging on a smart contract. Once it's out there, it will happen. We've talked about privacy quite a lot, but just recapping on privacy services, this really means that um, it, it's a way of controlling the confidentiality within the blockchain, making sure that people can only see the parts of the distributed ledger that are relevant to them and the way, their way of doing business. Um, and it, it also uh, means that it gives us a way of actually making sure that blocks in the, in the blockchain are tied together in a, in a mutable fashion so the blockchain becomes tamper-proof. So really, privacy services are very, a core to the whole concept of blockchain for business. And finally, trust. Trust is a really interesting concept, and it really does need a little bit of thinking about. But effectively, the way we do this in Blockchain for Business is selected members from the business network endorse or validate that a particular traction, a transaction occurs, and we decide that on a transaction-by-transaction transaction basis. Um, and then when the transactions are endorsed, they will actually be added to the blockchain. But this gives us a concept of actually having a verifiable audit trail of everything that's, who's owned what across the business network from the time it was created and put onto the blockchain. Um, and this is achieved through these, these four terms of consensus, provenance, immutability, and finality that I mentioned earlier on in the, in the presentation. We'll learn a lot about trust and how we actually do that and make it real as we go through the subsequent modules in this, uh, in this Ustream. Um, series where we're going to drill down to a lot of these concepts in a lot more detail.